this was just so refreshingly uh, irreverent and modern and compelling and funny and naughty. Your favorite word. <laughs> <laughs> naughty. <laughs> naughty, naughty. If I say that you should be married, then married you should be. We are young. Where is the Lady Catherine? I've come here to propose marriage. A man has come and asked for me by name. You cannot mean our Lady Catherine. Oh, She's a vile creature. Some say she has a third ear. She does. I read this book before I even knew that there were people who made movies. I thought movies just appeared on the shelf at Tower Video. I didn't know that <laughs> there were people who were in charge of it. So I read it for the first time when I was 10 in 1996, and it immediately became my favorite book. I feel like I meet certain young women who were 10 in 1996, and it's a very specific niche kind of weirdo who read this book over and over and over again. I was disappointed when I read it. <laughs> disappointed in me, disappointed just, in the world, yeah. in decided to leave business. <laughs> Sorry. No, we, um, we had a conversation on the phone for a long time, didn't like we? an hour and a yeah, half. An hour and a half. You don't get to decide who we are, where we go, or how much we cost. Like, we're just things. We're not things. We're people. And we can think, and we can hear, and we can feel. But we are here. For me, I thought, I w that's no, there's no way I'll be in that mm -hmm. with this cast. And it's just, how the hell did I get here? But that was really cool that I did. <laughs> Thank you for, yeah, what we the hell. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. <laughs> <laughs> People kept saying, how do you do the dialogue? I was like, well, if we're doing it accurately, we would literally be speaking Middle English. Right. Like, we'd yeah. be speaking, exactly. like, Chaucerite exactly. English, and it would be a very different kind of project. Yeah. It would have a different atmosphere. Yes, that's exactly right. So we just did that on our breaks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do think she's come down with something. She's got a little, little, um, little, little, little bit of, I think there's a little bit of pox going around the, the not village. Pox. pox. And did you read the book? I read it. I read the, a free sample on iBooks, on <laughs> the train. Why spell when you don't have to? Exactly. <laughs> on the train. Yeah, exactly. On the train, down to the audition. Oh, right. On the way. Wow. Like, yeah, on the way. <laughs> Just... I did read it afterwards. You sent me, like, a cool version of it. And you I sent her a real it. copy. I sent Eloise. I sent... I feel like I sent a few of the books that inspired yeah, it. Yeah, you did. And one was Eloise at the plaza. Oh, Just yeah, because... Yeah, yeah. I have a tattoo of her in my tramp stamp place, and um, <laughs> I do, unfortunately, but which doesn't really represent the love I have for the character properly. But she, it's because she runs so gleefully around the plaza, causing trouble. I felt mm. like Bella needed to experience yeah, yeah, yeah. it. It was so chaotic, like wonderfully chaotic, and I loved it. And your writing was so like it just jumped off the page. It was so immersive and so funny. I laughed out loud reading it. I'm um, so happy. Yeah, no, it was so cool, and it was something that I immediately wanted to be a part of if you'd have me. And you did have me, which I'm very, very... There was never anyone else. <laughs>